Hi guys. Today I'm going to do a pour for the 4th of July. I chose just red, white, and blue basic colors. Speaking of basic, today I am using um, the Kotex Basics in all three colors. I have never done this before. So these are the colors that I'm using. All the Kotex Basics, like I said, Typically when I do a pour, if I use white or black, I usually always use Artist Loft Float Acrylic. Um, I decided not to do that today. I wanted to try some different brands and see what happens. I have not used all the same brand paints in one painting since I've started pouring, so I'm curious to see how these will look as compared to previous pours that I've done. So, I've already poured them into my cup, and I may have put too much white, I'm not sure. I am going to do a ring pour, and the reason I'm going to do it is because I want to see what the difference is between the paints, um, with the, the rings and the definition and the lines and things like that. So, uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I am ready to go, there's no silicone in here. Um, just the basic colors, like I said, and I've, I layered them quite a few times. As you can see here, um, one, two, three, four times, I think. So we're going to give this a try and see how it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't turn too purple or pink. We will see. Making the rings a little bit bigger this time than I usually do. Yeah, this is a lot of paint, but I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, I think there's too much blue as well, but we'll see. some of these air bubbles. Oh, I can already see cells coming up, which is interesting. I see more cells now than I do when I used the other paints. So I don't mind cells. I just, I don't like them much in the ring pores because I think sometimes it takes away from them. But again, it really depends on how many there are, in my opinion. I mean, everybody has different taste. blue has really taken over. Even though I thought I used too much white, it appears that I may have used too much blue. So I'm going to stretch this a little bit in a different direction to see if we can get some of that red to come through. I'm really not caring much for this. I don't know if it's the white that's making it look this way. Do you see what I mean? It's very, um, I don't know, maybe I should compare it to using the other paints with the uh, Flow Acrylic White that I usually use and see how it turns out. Because I really wanted a pretty red, white, and blue um, ring pour, but this is not so pretty, is it? Well, it might become pretty, I don't know. Sometimes after they sit for a little while, um, they change. a lot more blue than I was hoping for. I would have liked to have equal parts of each color, 
and it's probably because I put blue at the bottom and I probably put too much. So maybe this will make some changes. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Um, come back and check on it and then I'll show you what the difference is. I'll take it down for now to show you a close-up. It's definitely not as nice as many of the ring pours that I've done. The lines aren't as crisp. The colors have blended a little bit more than, well, a lot more than usual. Um, the white has made it almost look blurry. That probably isn't the right description, but. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I did not like the results of that pour at all. I'm probably going to scrape it, but I'm gonna give it some time, like I said. But what I just did was I mixed up some paints that I usually use. I did not have any deco art that's blue, so I'm using deco art primary red and I'm using Apple Barrel Award Blue. The only Apple Barrel colors I don't use, well color, is white because it tends to crack and I learned from experience. So I don't use the white for those anymore. Um, and then for the white, I use the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So I am curious to see what the difference is because I've never had a ring pour turn out like that. Even my first ring pour didn't look like that. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, and if, if this turns out better, then I know I'm not using those paints anymore. There we go. And I have been told by people that um, if you use craft paints, you're less of an artist. And I personally think that's a load of crap. Um, the brand that you use is not what makes you an artist. Somebody that has no skill at all could use expensive stuff and it doesn't make it art. Although to some people it might be. Everything is different. Everyone has different opinions. So with that being said, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with using the cheaper paints, or should I say less expensive. Um, I don't necessarily think that it makes anything less um, beautiful. So let's see what happens with this. I can already see a difference, to be honest with you. Okay. Something about the way that these paints pour out, it's very different. Now the texture or the consistency of the paints as they come out of the bottle is very different as well. The um, Liquitex Basics are thicker could have something to do with it. I've used those before without too much of a problem, but I, like I said, I've never used the white instead of the flow acrylic. So let's just see what we get here. I layered them in the cup the same way as I did with the other one. Now, the red is taking over this one, uh, which is interesting. However, it looks more like a ring pour to me than the other one did. See if I can pour some of that. Interesting. I mean, in my opinion, this one does look better. It, it's strange how the colors come out more with different paints. Um, the white is very non-existent in this one. It's pretty though, because it just kind of highlights and outlines the colors. I wanted a little bit more than that, and I would have liked a little bit more over here.
So personally, I'm not thrilled with either of them. If I had to pick one that I liked better than the other, I would pick this one. Um, they'll probably both get scraped. <laughs> this was more of an experiment than anything. I did want to make a red, white, and blue painting. I may have to scrape and start over, but I'm going to bring the other one back up so you can see them together. They're just, they're very different. Let's see if I can. And I just touched that, but I don't care because I'm getting rid of it anyway. Okay. Um, really interesting, the results. Let me show you. So here is with the Deco Art Apple Barrel and Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and this is with all Liquitex Basics. It looks, I, j I just, I don't know how to explain that. Maybe somebody has a better word for me, but it's so weird that I used the same amount of paints and one had red takeover and one had blue takeover. Um, I don't know. I really am not a fan of either of them. Like I said, I will scrape them and start over, but I just found this really interesting. How different they look. So, okay, well that was an experiment. That's what we'll call that. And I will be back at another time with hopefully a better red, white, and blue ring pour. Maybe those colors just don't work well together. Maybe I need to layer them differently. I'm not sure. But I think for now, I'm going to stick with um, Deco Art. And I really do actually like Apple Barrel. I have some really nice pours that I used Apple Barrel for, and they turned out beautiful. So um, everybody has their own opinions. All right. Well, thanks for watching. All right. Bye.